Hey local legends, welcome back to another video. Today's tutorial is going to be an exciting tutorial because today, finally, I'll be showing you how to construct the Apple logo in Adobe Illustrator using only two guides and a bunch of circles. So if that excites you, stick around because I promise it's going to be a good one. Ready? Let's begin. Okay, so we're now in Illustrator with our blank document set up here. Now to kick things off, we're going to start by creating our first guide. And to do that, we're going to hit Command R on our keyboard or Control R if you're using a PC. Uh, this will bring up the ruler in our document. Next, ensure that you have selection tool selected. Then you're going to drag from the ruler onto the artboard to create our first guide. Now to create a second guide, ensure that you still have the guide selected and hit enter on the keyboard to bring up the move panel. Next, you're going to move the first guide 304 pixels downwards. I'm just going to hit preview right here so that, can, so that I can see what's happening. Then you're going to hit copy to complete the process. Next, we're going to go to view menu here guides then lock the guides this will ensure that we don't accidentally displace them during the tutorial next we're going to go ahead and hit the ellipse tool and we're going to ensure that our transform panel is up because this is going to be a very important panel during the course of this tutorial next we're going i'm going to hit the reference the top reference part here so this will ensure that once i put my ellipse tool on the guide here when the circle is created it will be aligned directly with the guide so we're going to go ahead and create a circle of 196 pixels and going to go ahead and add a red stroke to it then i'm going to make a copy of this circle using the move panel again so this time we're going to move the circle 144 pixels to the right and hit copy here so this is this is going to form the top portion of the apple logo next we're going to create the circles for the bottom portion and we're going to start we're going to do that by Selecting this circle here and make a copy of it using Command R, Command F, keyboard shortcut. Then we're going to scale it down. But before we scale it down, just ensure that you hit the middle reference point here again. So we're going to create the circle of with 92 pixels. And we're going to move it to the bottom guide here. So we're going to put 10 pixels horizontal and 160 pixels vertical all right again we're going to need another circle for over here so we're going to create a copy of this circle and this time i'm going to click the bottom reference point so it stays locked to the bottom guide i'm going to resize it down to 86 pixels then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard to move it horizontally to the right, 132 pixels, okay? Next, we're going to create the byte, the circle that's needed for the byte in the apple. So I'm going to hit this circle here, make a copy of it, uh, select the reference point again, middle reference point again. Then I'm going to scale it down to 174 pixels. Then I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard again to move it to a position of 124 pixels horizontally by 18 pixels vertically. Alright, so that's the byte that's needed to form right there. Next, I'm going to create the leaf portion of the Apple logo. So I'm going to make a copy of this circle, scale it upwards by two pixels. Then we're going to move it minus 122 pixels horizontally by 
100 sorry 112 pixels horizontally by 124 pixels vertically all right then I'm gonna make a copy of this circle with the move panel but this time we're gonna move it um, at a shorter distance minus 92 98 sorry by 80 pixels vertically I'm gonna make a copy right there to complete that process all right so now we need the circles to close the gap here on the outer edges of the Apple logo so I'm gonna need a circle of 416 pixels to close the gap here now before this tutorial I did experiment and came up with these sizes and the way how we're going to position it now is by using an old method that I learned in high school it, during technical drawing days uh, maybe in your country it would be called engineering drawing but it's relatively the same thing so I'm going to need to do a calculation with these with the diameter of these two circles two circles to ensure that my 416 circle hits both circles on the outer edge so this to do that we're going to start by making a copy of this circle here and i'm going to minus the 196 pixels from the 416 pixels right but because this is like a guide i'm going to change the color here so that i don't get confused with the main parts of the apple logo and i'm going to do the same here i'm going to make a copy and minus 86 pixels from the 416 change the color and right where the right here where these two circles intersects intersects that's where i'm going to put the the middle point of the the 416 pixel circle all right so i'm just, I'm just gonna zoom in a little right here and make sure i'm hitting shift and option on my keyboard uh, put it to the part the ellipse tool to the part where it says intersect and just left click right there I'm gonna type in the values and voila the outer first outer part of the Apple logo was created I'm going to change the stroke color back to red so that I we don't get confused here Next, I'm gonna go over to the left side here. So it's like the same process again, except that I'm, the circle that we're going to need is actually 444 pixels. So we're gonna start by making a copy of this circle, then minus the 196 from 444. I'm gonna change the stroke color there. I'm gonna do the same thing here again make the copy and do our calculations all right so right here where these two circles intersect that's where we're going to put our 446 pixel circle all right four hundred and forty four All right, I'm just gonna change this stroke color back to red. Okay, and I hope you knew you're starting to see that how the Apple logo um, is forming. All right, next we're gonna do the top portion here. This time I'm gonna need a circle of 92 pixels to close the gap here. So I'm gonna highlight this circle, make a copy, but this time we're going to add the 92 pixels. I'm gonna change the color right there it's gonna be the same for over here make the copy
all right change the stroke color it's a good thing i'm changing the stroke color because with all these circles it's a little bit confusing all right so go ahead i'm gonna hit l for my ellipse tool make sure that's saying intersect and if you're not seeing intersect, ensure that you your smart guides is turned on, okay? Intersect, holding down shift and alt. And I'm going to type 92 pixels in the value box right there. As you can see, the circle closes the top part of the Apple logo. I'm going to change that stroke to red. And then finally, we're heading to the bottom of this logo. Now, this time I'm going to need a circle of 176 pixels to close the gap here. So I'm going to make a copy right there. I'm going to add it again. Change the color right there. I'm going to do the same for this one. So as you can see guys it's just basic math and geometry to get a unique logo all right so i'm gonna hit l for the ellipse tool right there make sure that's saying intersect i'm gonna type the 176 and voila here we have the bottom portion of the apple logo closed and ready to be shape build all right so we're wrapping up here guys what we're going to do i'm going to select all of these circles and i'm going to hit shift m for the shape builder tool all right i'm just going to quickly check if all the gaps were properly closed and let me see here okay we're doing pretty good so i'm going to make a copy of all these circles now I'm just going to hold on Alt and Shift to make a copy in a straight line to the right. Then I'm going to just going to get rid of all these guide circles to make it a little less confusing. I'm going to highlight all of these again. Hit Shift M on my keyboard. And then I'm going to shape build the Apple logo. All right. So now I'm just going to get rid of these other circles that we don't need. Shift X changes to a fill. I'm just going to change it to the classic black Apple logo. And there you have it, Apple logo done with only using two guides and circles in Adobe Illustrator. So if you enjoyed this tutorial guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, share the video, and let me know in the comment section if this tutorial was really helpful to you. Also guys, if you also want to support the channel, be sure to the link to my store and pick up a t-shirt um, there's tons of great designs i'm sure you like at least one of them all right guys thanks for sticking around see you in the next video peace